welcome to another Take 5. Growing up, I have many memories of watching Let's Make a Deal on TV. Now, the premise of the show was pretty simple. Monty Hall would choose somebody from the crowd, they would come forward, and he would ask them for an everyday common household item that they might have in their billfold or in their purse, and in exchange, he would give them a chance at something much greater. Sometimes they would receive something incredible. Other times, they might receive something not so good. What they would receive all hinged so often on three doors. Door number one, door number two, or door number three. God has a great deal for us. God makes an offer to us that, unlike let's make a deal, there are no dud prizes. But God makes an offer of an exchange to you and I for something that is so much better than we could ever give Him. Behind door number one, God says, Give me your guilt, and I will give you my grace. Romans chapter 3.23 says, For we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And later in Romans, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And so God says to you and I, Give me your guilt. Give me your sin. My son Jesus has paid the price for it. And in exchange, I will give you my grace. What a deal for us. We no longer have to bear the punishment and the guilt for our sin. Because of God's grace, we can now have eternal life through His Son, Jesus Christ. Behind door number two, God says, Give me your fears, and I will give you faith. When we turn over our fears, our anxieties, our worries, our cares, our burdens... God says, I will give you faith through the Holy Spirit living in you as a Christian. We no longer have to be held down and held captive by our fears and our anxieties and our worries. That's why Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Cast your burden on me. And you see, we don't have to have fear weighing over us all the time. When we realize that God is on the throne, that He is in control, we can take our fears, take our anxieties, lay them before Him, and in exchange, He will give us faith. And then behind door number three, God says, Give me your wants, and I will give you my will. There comes a point in our lives as Christians when we have to let go of what we want, where we have to scrap our plan, where we have to take ourselves off the throne and put God on the throne. When we surrender our wants to God's will. Just today, talking to someone, sharing with them, said, I know I've been praying for you, you've been praying too, and we know that God hasn't answered our prayers the way that we wanted Him to. But we can never forget, He's on the throne, He has an incredible plan, He has the power and the wisdom to do what's right in our lives if we would just surrender our wants for His will. So how about it? Are you ready for God to take control? Are you ready to exchange your guilt for His grace? Are you ready to exchange your fears for faith? Are you ready to give up your wants for His will? He's a good God. He's a loving Heavenly Father. He has wonderful things for you and I if we'll allow Him to have complete control of our lives. What a deal.